we've got more cards this is huntsman altimore a new hunter legendary for castle nathria a seven mana five for battle cry summon a gargon companion well what the heck's a gargon companion regis well it's an animal companion that's a beast but they have different names there's he cute is <laughs> he cutest bargast and margor they're all gargons and yeah they're just the animal companions that have been uh, given a fresh coat of paint so you know and love these effects i'm not going to spend too much time talking through these but uh with huntsman ultimore that's what he's going to give it base just one animal companion so a five four and a you know equivalent to three mana minion then if you infuse four, which again, just a reminder as always, that means if while this is in hand, four friendly minions have died, he'll upgrade and he'll summon a second Gargon companion. And in this case, they will be unique. It's already been confirmed on Twitter. The dev said that you'll get two different ones, much like uh, to my side back in the day would always give you two different ones. And then finally, if you infuse another four, this is not... 12 total it's eight total each step is four then you'll get a third animal companion in which case excuse me gargon companion in which case you'll have all three gargons seen here much like uh call of the wild the old card used to do for eight mana and uh clearly you know getting all four of these for seven mana feels good. That's better than a card that got nerfed many years ago. Is Call of the Wild still a totally insane card that would be nerf worthy? No, but I think it's still probably solid if it were to show up in standard format. And in this case, you're getting a five four bonus on top of your uh, Call of the Wild in effect. So that's four bodies. You get some charge damage. You get some taunt utility. Uh, if you have a couple minions laying around already, you might get some bonus off that Leox style effect. Now that said, of course, it's a big condition here. Infuse eight is a lot. This is one of the biggest infused totals that we've seen so far. And I think the difference here from a fully infused Ultimore to a baseline Ultimore is really substantial. I think if this is not infused, the floor of this card feels pretty weak. Just a five, four that summons an animal companion is not an exciting play these days for seven mana. Will you do it in a pinch sometimes because you're desperate? Sure, will you hit the Huffer equivalent Margor and be happy that you dug out a surprise lethal? Possibly. Will that be a thing that you're excited about and you put in your deck uh, <laughs> to play towards? No. So I think this is very infuse reliant more so than other cards. Like we talked about Rafam earlier today in a previous review. I think the floor on Rafam felt pretty solid. If you play that off a top deck, non-infused state, you're happy with it. Ultimore, I think you're far less excited. Now, obviously, Hunter can have lots of little beasts and rush beasts trading in and infusing this guy, so it's not impossible to get it up here. It's just asking a lot more than other infused cards, and without that infuse, it just doesn't really feel that strong to me. Now, I also have some questions about deck fit for this one. It doesn't really slot into the big beast stuff we see in Hunter today. It feels like it could be a little bit more like the top end of a mid-range deck, one of those kind of Dino Tamer brand minions almost, an Arena style list, if Reno decks were to ever come back. It's, it's kind of one of those cards that lingers near the bottom of your 30 slash 40 card deck. And it's it's like, okay, yeah, we'll toss in an Altimore. It's okay. I'm just not thrilled about it, right? It's, it's probably going to be a sort of fringe card in a fringe deck. Best case scenario. I Next up here, we have the Demolition Renovator, a new four mana, four, four with Battle Cry. Destroy an enemy location. So we actually have a location tech card because locations are a new card type. They don't interact with things that affect spells or minions, but as you can see, it is indeed possible and in fact confirmed that we're gonna get location answers and things interact specifically with locations. So if your opponent has a really spooky location, this might give you an opportunity to disrupt that, remove any kind of setup or game plan they were looking to uh, develop. Now, at the moment, none of the location cards look terrifying enough to me that they demand removal. They have, you know, moderately strong effects on occasion but you'd probably just rather deal with the result or set up some cool play of your own as opposed to what here feels like a pretty expensive for a tech card and it's not especially swinging it doesn't like gain stats or anything it straight up just removes the location i think the highest cost location right now is actually just three mana so you can tell the total 
swing here from a mana standpoint is not especially high for the renovator and for tech cards to succeed lately they've all needed tradable that's what's made tech cards good things like rust rod viper work because of tradable in matchups where you don't need them or scenarios where you don't need them you just trade it out and you're cool with it without this having tradable because it's not a stormwind card i just don't know it's gonna be really hard for decks to squeeze this in all right next up we have the dispossessed soul not only uh cards that remove locations but cards that synergize with locations here this one's a four mana four five neutral battle cry if you control a location discover a copy of a card in your deck and i love that we're getting things that interact with locations remember locations as a card type are not only in this expansion they're going to be printed in the future they said they'll be more common than hero cards but less common than weapons so we'll see more of those and given that this is a neutral card that means there's a lot of opportunities both now and in the future for decks to toss this in and i think it has a pretty powerful effect here we know that getting extra copies of things that you care about in your deck say some legendary card where normally you'd be limited to one this might give you extra versions of it extra copies of it and that can be a really impactful thing if it's some really high output card we see that with moonlit guidance and druid that card is absolutely everywhere now moonlit guidance does draw you two very often if you play the original that turn but not always sometimes it's just about finding the right thing and getting that thing twice even if you don't get it immediately twice and dispossessed soul still allows you to do that now it comes with overhead here it's four mana instead of two but you get a body for it as well you get that yeti tossed in here as well for the effect so you're not totally taking a downturn when you play the dispossessed soul so will there be you know dispossessed souls everywhere no of course not you have a couple boxes to check here number one you have to be a deck that cares about locations you got to have the locations number two uh you got to have things you want to copy this has to be more efficient than just raw card draw you need probably specific things you're looking to duplicate or pull out of the deck as quickly as possible it's not a raw card draw card many decks will just favor drawing lots of things and finding the things they need instead so uh you know not a universal card that's played everywhere but i think there will be decks that value this effect enough for the dispossessed soul to make the cut here and there especially as we get more and more locations this kind of card just is like oh yeah okay dispossessed soul makes sense yeah that'll be a fine way to cap off this deck uh making it a reasonably solid card huntsman ultimore is a three-star card demolition renovator is a two-star card dispossessed soul is a three-star card and there you go folks that wraps it up for this review just a handful of cards this time but uh, still nice to see all the legendaries i gotta say i'm not super in love with the like effective huntsman ultimore but he looks sick that is a cool character and i didn't include them here but the infused versions actually look even sicker this guy's gonna be an awesome looking card because he has three different pieces of artwork actually really six if you count the new animal companion so a lot went into this card uh, so always fun to see that even if you don't necessarily love the effect uh, that said curious what you guys think do you think Altimore is actually insane is he gonna blow my mind want to hear that in the comments below but until then thanks much for watching and until next time game on